Coming up, Shelby. Even after today's parade, Savannah streets have been aligned with crowds, but the city wants to make sure that these same streets aren't lined with trash. So they're asking you to go green in more ways than one. Savannah St. Patrick's Day Parade has now come and gone, but the evidence of hundreds of thousands of people still lingers in the streets. Now it's up to 60 of the city's sanitation employees to clear the gallons of garbage and get the hostess city back in tip top condition. It's a little lighter than, than, than the last couple years. River Street was very light this morning, but we expect a lot heavier now that the festival is going to start in earnest tonight and tomorrow. John Denyon, the city's director of sanitation, says his crews waste no time getting to work. They came in to prep at three this morning and started cleanup as soon as the last parade entry came through. From recycling, litter, commercial disposal, and code enforcement, there are lots of city departments working to keep Savannah green long after St. Patrick's Day. Everyone's working together um, because it's all one big task. And we just want to make sure the city is, you know, when you wake up uh, in the morning, it's what you wanted to see and not not a mess and you can help sanitation out while you party denyan says take your trash don't let it sit in the ground and you know, pick up after yourself and everyone does that to be a lot cleaner city we'll have no more issues now we are already starting to see lots of people out here in the downtown area and the party isn't stopping. It's going all the way from tonight all the way throughout the weekend. Coming up at 1030, the steps that sanitation is taking to get this party going. For now, reporting live downtown, Shelby Roberts, Fox 28 News at 10.